<laughs> right. Um, I thought I would just do um, an extra bit of uh, context and comparison, if you like. Um, just to show the difference between um, what the standard game looks like versus the beautiful Britannia mod. So this is um, patch 1.19H of version of the game running uh, in 3DFX mode um, up, uh, with the resolution set at uh, 1080 uh, with mip mapping set to high and stuff like that. So basically full settings, 32-bit textures, all that sort of stuff, which is Surely you will not what we venturing without um, I think your clothes are in the bathroom through the other door. What I played it on um, through the full playthrough. So we can see the draw distance is significantly reduced. Please let me out. What the fuck? So, so the, the draw distance is pretty bad. Um, if we go into the options, uh, we can set that up to far with additional terrain and then highest quality. So now we should see a difference. Uh, it says 1.19F but I have applied the 1.19H patch. I think they just didn't change the uh, the bit indicating the patch file version. There we go. That's what we should have been able to see. So this is the standard game. Um, and now we'll have a look at it in using the beautiful Britannia mod. Alright, so um, I am now over in the beautiful Britannia modded version of Ultima 9. Um, hopefully you can see a difference. I was still on Earth. So the user interface is much bigger. In fact, it's ever so slightly clipped. Um, so for example, if we open the journal, um, the top is uh, just off the top of the screen. Um, there is a widescreen fix that used to work with Ultima 9, whether it still does or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I'll put a link to the beautiful Britannia mod. Um, as you can see, draw distance um, is set to full uh, on this currently. Uh, in fact, quality will just force that as well. There are a number of different options. But essentially, we're able to um, override a lot of the original graphic settings with the uh, fog distance and stuff like that it's uh, certainly looks a lot better um it can sometimes still be a little bit choppy uh, <laughs> interestingly though um the gypsy's caravan door is uh, is closed Oh dear. Um. <laughs> Greetings, Avatar. <coughs> Britannia waits. This will be your ultimate challenge. The this, yeah, there does seem to be a level of detail of issue here. If you take this. Right. Uh, found what the problem was. It was in fact my fault. Um, I had set the level of detail scale instead of upping it from one to eight. <laughs> I'd put it the other way around and put it as 0.8. So uh, yeah, my level of detail was like less, uh, less than the the absolute default for the original game. So look, we can actually <laughs> talk to you now without issues. Greetings. I'm just going to get to Britannia and then have a look. This will be um, a couple of things that we may have missed in the original playthrough. Other than floating in the chair, I do look a million times better. Skip this next bit. We went A with everything and we're a shepherd. So, <laughs> humility. <laughs> Avatar, you have favoured the virtue of humility. You shall follow the path of a humble shepherd. Your Once skill you with sheep shall be great. You will find a chest of supplies appropriate to your chosen path that I have left for you in the Tower of Stonegate. The Guardian must be aware that fortunately the Gazer is a magic creature. 
Uh, right, yes, so uh, we, we crashed, amazingly. The Guardian obviously knows you are here, Avatar. You will not be safe here at Stonegate for long. Unlike on Earth, you are now vulnerable. There is also a chest of equipment in the corner of this room sent for you by the Gypsy. And what did we get that was of any use whatsoever? Uh, a couple of spells and some potions. We don't even get a weapon. That's how good we are as a shepherd. Right, so um, what I want to do is um, get out of here and just go and uh, cover, I think maybe only just one thing that we missed. I'm not sure now. Um, but specifically um, an item that we missed in uh, Lord British's castle. Uh, one thing that I have uh, just not found while trying to skip through this is actually in Stonegate below this room, if we clip down and have a look, um, there's actually a invisibility potion sat here for some reason. Um, interestingly. I have taught you all that I can, Avatar, but you still have much to learn. Once you step outside these doors, your enemies will be numerous. Nearby there is a cave. Within it lies the means to reach Britain, where you may seek out the wise Lord British. So, um, here is uh, Stonegate in all its glory. Whoop. See, it's actually got... Uh, all this around here. We have still got a draw distance, even though um, obviously we're sort of using it with the mod. Um, I don't know if I've ever been up here. It's interesting. Um, that's annoying because it means I now have to go all the way back down again. But, um, yeah, one thing that is interesting is the fact that it is one big map. Um, it, you know, it takes a while to load things in. It's it, it not running brilliant, I must say. But you can actually see that it is um, the whole world. Here's you. What the hell is that? Um. You. You can see that tower up there. What the hell is this place? Is it one of the dungeons? Oh, there's a crab living down here. I feel I should know what this is. I mean, maybe it's just leftover crap like this. Uh, it does think I'm drowning though. Because uh, obviously this is part of Lord Rich's castle, uh, outside architecture. There doesn't really seem to be anything inside this. But... That's weird. Uh, the four, you. Uh, 
Uh, that'll be too caught. Yeah. Uh, ruins of uh, Empath Abbey will be coming up on uh, wrong, yeah, the column. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it's <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors. It's uh, basically the entire map is uh, a single. Uh, object so it technically is an open world um, although there are obviously blockers stopping you going to certain things at certain times but um, if we just head to Lord British's castle there's just one little thing that I want to cover um, so yeah visually uh, it is a um, like quite a big improvement as you can see um, yeah I have never noticed that before so that is a wall section built out of the top of um, of Stonegate ha huh, I have never noticed that's there before I'm finding stuff that I didn't even know about, but specifically, I came for one thing, and we we didn't do it uh, with Lord British's castle, and that is somewhere in here is a way downstairs. Ah, here. <laughs> okay. Now, I completely forgot to do this in the playthrough. I'm almost certain, and this is an area that I forgot to come to, the dungeon. Let me get a look at you. Oh, yeah. All right. You just do that. Now I'm looking for somebody in the particular. Hey, I told you not to do that. <coughs> it's not in your... No, oh, not this guy. <laughs> Just opened itself again. What's the matter here? Stupid people coming down here making my life hard. <laughs> Why ain't he out saving the world or something? Let uh -huh. me go. Go find the Avatar. He'll tell you that I am the great Lord British. I have ruled here in Britannia for generations. They do look like him. All right, I warned you three times. <laughs> yeah, so you can get yourself locked up, which doesn't really help. Let me out. Oh, why is my head hurting? Have you talked to my friend Shamino? He's uh, standing right near me. He'll vouch for me. Shamino, say something. Speak up. Here's Lord British. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> Yes, so uh, that is obviously Richard Garriott, who is Lord British, and also Shamino. Shamino was his D and D character, um, and a little Easter egg of him down in the dungeon. Psst. Hey, do you know Chuckles? 
He had a bit to drink, and I fear the bottle got a better hold of him than any woman ever could. <laughs> He'd let me out. <laughs> he would. I don't have any lines he's got. Let me out of here! I've been wrongly imprisoned! I am your sovereign! I am Lord British! I command thee to let me out of here! So, there we are. Just a, one of the few easter eggs, I think, that I didn't run into. Um, but it is interesting to see just how close things are. So, <laughs> Lord British's castle backs on to Stonegate. <laughs> Um, world in as big as it used to be. But, uh, if we go down the mainland of Britain here, another tower. Just must have just run round them and just never paid any attention. <laughs> uh, so then we'll have a uh, pause down here in the swamp. Shit all. <laughs> uh, it's then obviously separated out. Now, land's been split. Well, intrinsic. Then. Uh, new Magincia, or what's left of it? <laughs> um. at the moment or no. uh that's Sutex Island the top end of the alley of the avatar That's turfing. So what's this? Or is it the Isle of the Avatar? Dragons absolutely everywhere. Uh, so these is um, these is uh, this will be where Serpent's Hold should have been. The Lorian Isles, and then the Loria. There, where's that Scarabray? That's for Loria. Should be over here. Let's nice. be back over towards you. Just 
go down the other side towards um, uh, Moonglow. So this will be the one around well, um, Moonglow, Lyceum, obviously hidden because I haven't yet told it to uh, to find it uh, to reveal it, sorry right. and then lastly here top end uh, it's interesting, where's this? north of Magincia under the castle of fire Sure. Uh, and then I think we're back here again, which would suggest that that is the Isle of the Avatar, just with the the entrance there. But where's the guardians and stuff like that? Be odd. Anyway, there is a quick tour of Britannia. Well, we've got the weird castle. There is a ship being built on the coast. So we're sort of just behind you here. Uh, and if we head out to sea here, we'll find a ghost ship. Complete with ghosts somewhere. There we go. Obviously, once you've got the ship and the sea charts, you'll be able to come and find this. Um, as you can see, it is a full open world. Um, and the beautiful Britannia mod does improve it quite a lot, although it wasn't running particularly great on my system, but you know, it's a game from uh, so long ago that it's amazing it's even running on uh, Windows 10 on a 64-bit system um, you know, way before any of that stuff even existed. So um, cheers for watching, uh, just wanted to cover that little easter egg and just uh, the Beautiful Britannia mod, show the improvements with the graphics can make as well. Uh, this is running at um, 1080p as well. So, um, see you next time. Bye for now.